NIPSA was started back in 2006 as kind of a response to what was going on in our community at that time because there was about 350 animals being euthanized a day and that equated to about 50 to 60,000 animals per year. Of course the citizens of San Antonio were really upset because at that point we were euthanizing more animals per capita than any other U.S. city. So since then we've rehomed close to I want to say 7,500 animals or so and all without really any type of bricks and mortar shelter. I mean, it's all through volunteers and wonderful families and fosters who have stepped up. We do a lot of spay neuter outreach, which was really the second part of this whole program because when SNPs have started doing our adoption program in 2006, we realized we really could not adopt our way out of this problem. There was no way San Antonio was gonna reach no kill simply through adoptions. When you drive around and see this many animals intact, this many nursing mothers feeding babies and that sort of thing, then you realize you still have a problem that's very rampant in your community. And it's just that rescue partners are working harder to save the ones that are impounded, but we still have a ton of work to do on our city streets. We've all seen it where you can't go anywhere in town without seeing 10 or 20 dogs roaming down the street. Um, that's, that's not normal. Other places don't have that. And we're trying to just help clear up that problem. We decided to really take our program of spay neuter to the streets and that's what we've done with our big fix spay neuter outreach and so we'll go into different neighborhoods that have been identified based on zip code um, where the highest number of strays and free roaming animals live and where the animal control officers spend a good amount of their days you know gathering up loose dogs okay how many puppies do you have ma'am there's seven they only seven? kept one yeah okay but you're wanting to surrender them if I could. Okay. I mean, because I could only keep so many. Right. Because, I mean, they're expensive. Sure. Can you get them to St. Mary's on Saturday? Yeah. You can? Okay. okay. They have each other, but they're always biting on me. Okay. You're 7820. Really, the only way to affect a permanent change in the city is to educate people on the importance of spay neuter and help facilitate them getting that done. We try and remove the barriers that keep people from spaying and neutering their pets. So our clinics are free at The Big Fix. It's a free spay or neuter, microchip, and vaccinations. We try to go into the communities that are most affected by this so that transportation is not an issue for people. Is this where you the University of St. Mary's? Yes, here we are. Yes, it's very close. Okay. Um, we put up banners in the high-need areas that we're trying to service around whatever facility we're doing a big fix at, and the phone calls start coming in. So our office staff of three, <laughs> plus our director, um, handles all of that with the help of volunteers. We even offer to, to pick up for people that don't have any transportation at all. We'll, we'll pick animals up from their house and we'll drop them off. That's usually done by volunteers. If it wasn't for volunteers, we couldn't do this at all. The good thing is the social awareness is there. Uh, we don't have to fight anymore about animal rescue and the benefits of spay and neuter. And that's kind of where I, where I think we've made an impact is we've shown San Antonio that the underprivileged community really does care and uh, we've kind of tapped into that. SNPSA has changed our lives. It's taught my children a lot about taking care of people and animals in the community, and that, that's been a real joy as a parent to watch them learn that, and I'm thankful that those lessons came through SNPSA. When people get here, we check them in, and then we tell them we'll, we'll call you when it's time to pick up your pet. Sometimes we call them at 10 o'clock at night <laughs> because their pet's not ready until 10 o'clock at night. There have been big fixes where we actually didn't leave the facility until 3 a.m. because we had that many surgeries and it took that long to clean up and, and get out of here. So for some of us, it can be a 24-hour job. It always seems like things are about to slip out of control, but we always manage to keep things level, You know, get everybody out of here home safe and get ready to do it the next time. We've done about 8,500 free spay neuter surgeries for our Big Fix clinic since 2009.
there's a lot of stationary clinics that do this. You know, there's plenty across the nation that get it, but there's very few that are this grassroots that go out literally door to door and solicit their appointments. Definitely not in Texas. It's a Sabado. Oh, this Saturday, yeah, yeah okay. At St. Mary's it. University, do you Saint know where Mary. that is? Yes, it's over there in the... Yeah. Lebra. Yeah. Okay. But um, if you want, I can get your information.